동서양의 아이들에게 자기가 살고 있는 집을 그려보라고 했다. 동양의 아이들과 서양의 아이들의 그림에는 재미있는 차이가 나타난다. 서양의 아이들은 자신이 실제로 보는 눈높이로 그림을 그린다. 그러나 동양 아이들은 하늘에서 내려다보는 듯한 그림을 그린다. In the East Asian society, uh, it seems to be natural to see yourself from outside. You are also the part of the society. If you take a uh, you know uh, inside person's point of view, you are going to observe this world from your eyes. Okay, you are always the center, but the yourself is not visible. Okay, so everything uh, occurs to you is just come in front of your eyes. And you cannot see yourself. Whereas, you know, uh, East Asian society, uh, you, you can even uh, contextualize yourself. Okay? If you take outsider's point of view, you are also in the part of the group, part of the society. When you take a look at uh, East Asian paintings, uh, you can easily identify that uh, they take a bird's eye view, which is not the... Uh, completely different techniques to uh, compare to the Western perspective. Western perspective, you really have to set up uh, the viewer's point. Once you fix it, you cannot move. Okay, you really have to, uh, you know, experience that you are just uh, standing in front of the images. And based on that assumption, they draw uh, three-dimensional, like uh, with some perspective images. Whereas uh, East Asian drawing in general is uh, like a, something like a, the painter is actually flying uh, on the sky and then try to observe all the field information from the sky.